Good morning everyone, my name is Anna and I am a Thermomix consultant in Australia. I recently joined the Thermomix company and I'm promoting Thermomix because I believe it is one of the best tools you can have in your kitchen, especially if you have children. I have four children and I am expecting another one. So I'm very busy making delicious and healthy dishes for the children. <laughs> The Thermomix may be considered the world's smartest blender because apart from chopping, grinding, whipping, it can also cook so you can steam vegetables, you can cook your veggies and then blend them at the same in the same bowl and um, you may also cook slow cooked meals and um, it turns itself off it has different temperatures, it has high temperatures, low temperatures so you can just warm your food and um, it's perfect for making yogurts and um, I also love to make chocolate balls and every day I warm up my milk and I warm up my water in the morning and I don't have to use hot plates because I cook everything in the Thermomix and um, we have a very tiny kitchen so it saves so much space and I don't have to have a lot of appliances in my kitchen. <laughs> it's so perfect for moms who have young children so you can cook vegetables and blend them quickly. You don't have to <laughs> and you don't have to um, clean up as much. So I'm just gonna show you how I make chocolate milk. So there are some functions already uh, set in the Thermomix menu, so it has a digital screen. Um, the first one um, is time, the second one is temperature and the third one is the speed. And then you have your functions there where you can make dough, cook rice or even use it as a kettle. It can also clean itself. And um, I'm just going to pre-clean it now because I cooked something last night. So I'm just going to quickly clean it and uh, you can use vinegar. So make sure you have this step on. So when it's done it makes this noise and um, to stop it you just press this button so now we're ready to put some chocolate milk in and if i want i may go to the scale function in here and making sure i get the right weight of everything Some of the best recipes you can make with Thermix is mixed berry whips and ice creams. You just blend your frozen berries with a little bit of sweet nine cream. You can make a quick salad, you can make pizza and bread dough because Thermix keeps the dough warm. Uh, it, uh, you know, it becomes perfect and it can also stir as well. Um, you can make nut milks and yogurts. I usually make my yogurts overnight. Nut milks are so perfect for vegans and vegetarians and for everyone as well. <laughs> so today I'm just gonna make some um, chocolate balls with nuts. You can also make, use seeds. Um, so I'm just gonna grind the nuts. When you grind nuts it can be a bit noisy so I usually put the timer and I walk away. Uh, make sure the children are not around. So Thermix can make awesome flowers. Like you can make flour from everything. So I make this flour and it's 
You know, recent studies suggested that if children are exposed to nuts earlier, they have less allergies. So um, it's perfect for young children as well. But obviously, you should uh, consult your doctor when you do it, if especially if you have, um, you know, a family history or something uh, like that. So the basic recipe is one cup of dry fruit, one cup of nuts. Make sure you remove the pits from dates. Uh, you can, the Thermomix will grind the pits, but uh, you know, it might not be uh, the best option. <laughs> so uh, I usually put one cup of nuts or seeds, one cup of dry fruit, and I add a little bit of salt, cacao powder. You can also add cinnamon, um, dry ginger, dry herbs, uh, um, chia seeds, spirulina, you know, like options are endless. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna mix them well and you will know when it's ready. So, it's different every time. You can hear your Thermomix when it stops hitting the mixture with the blades. It means it's done and the mixture becomes fluffy. Uh, this is it. Yes, it's finely ground. Now, my child decided to have a bath in the middle of the day, so I just have to uh, do it near the bathroom. Um, so I took my thermomix and a bowl and a couple of gloves, and um, that's all I need to make the bowl. So it's just so clean, I just enjoy it so much. Just so quick and clean and um, easy and the bowls are so healthy, so delicious because they don't have any sugar, you make them fresh and they just awesome and you can, you know, uh, put some coconut on top, co put spirulina or cacao powder or even acai powder, like Thermix is so awesome for desserts, it melts chocolate perfectly it whips cream, it whips egg whites, and um, it's just every day you experiment. Like the recipe, um, you know, library is growing because everyone is experimenting every day. And um, obviously, there are some basics like soups and um, cooking rice, potatoes, potatoes, mashed potatoes are so delicious, and, you know, vegetables are so delicious and they mix, I don't know why, but it's just different. Like healthy ice creams, um, especially if you have a lot of children, it's just awesome and the children can lo love to use it as well, because um, it's easy, obviously you have to supervise um, the children, but um, um, it's so much safer than using, you know, the stove. Um, and now so I'm gonna quickly make some soup because we're gonna go for a walk. So what I do, I use the soup. Uh, so I can make, I usually make mixed vegetable soup or pumpkin soup. I will probably go with mixed vegetable soup. splash guard so it lets the air out but protects your kitchen <laughs> and protects satin <laughs> So it's hot. So now we we have to put um, mixed vegetables in there. So we went for a walk, actually for a drive, because it's Sunday. And I couldn't take my soup with me, so I just left it cook. 
and when I came home, it's already warm. So it's so beautiful about Thermomix that it can turn off itself. You can leave it here. Make sure it's in the safe place, like um, especially if you're steaming something, definitely needs to be in the safe space. So we're gonna just continue from the last recipe and it's asking us to turn to speed two. Oh, we've done this, so it's just the cooking part. Now we have the measuring cup and now we're gonna blend everything for one and a half minutes. It's like flying on Thank you so much for watching this part one. Um, this is my first intro video, so um, I will continue to make more introduction videos and hopefully they will be more interesting. If you are interested in purchasing the Thermomix, you can find the payment options there on their website, thermomix.com.au. Um, there are three options available, however, you can't uh, buy directly from the Thermomix, they will refer you to a consultant. And since I am the consultant in Australia, you can contact me on um, via my website sm4sm.com and um, if you come just at the bottom of the you know homepage, there will be a form that you can fill in and I will contact you. Um, what happens, I get some details from you and I will pass them on to the Thermomix and they will organize Thermomix delivery. Um, another way to contact me would be via my Facebook page, Simple Moms for Super Moms. Uh, please follow me, it would be great because my children are still young so I will be cooking for a very long time and um, hopefully my videos will be more exciting and more interesting um, and thank you I'll see you in next video